Hi everyone, I'm George and I am live at Aquarium Gardens, the UK's number one aquascaping store. I can say that because I've been to all the aquascaping stores in the UK and this is the best. I happen to work here, I do uh, at least one day a week maintaining the aquascapes here and I'm going to give you a quick tour of them because they're all looking very cool right now, all looking really sweet and each and every one of them is Probably not want to say at its peak, but all looking really good. Hello, Justin. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. So I'm just going to switch the camera around, and then you can see a better picture of the actual scape. So we'll start off with the triptych here, which I set up a couple of months back. And hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. I'll try and do a bit of a QA and uh, a towards the end of the, the video. Excuse me. So this triptych, um, you can see how I set this up in one of my previous videos. Just go onto my channel and, and flick through the previous uploads and you'll see, um, tri uh, you'll, 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 you'll see it on the thumbnail, what it is. Hello to India. So the idea behind this scape is there's three scapes to create the illusion of one bigger scape. Now, a little bit of a design flaw in the fact that these are actually our shrimp selling tanks. So we have cherry shrimp and amino shrimp in here and consequently every time we we sell any shrimp we kind of need to destroy the aquascape and rebuild it again so we've got a, a few a few ideas to make it a little bit more practical but still it's a, it's a, a lovely display three aquascaper 300 cubes lit with the aqua l um sunny led i think they're called sunny led these retail for about 30 pounds six watts of led so not not particularly bright but perfect for a little cube like this low energy scapes Filtration is provided by, uh, very simple, just by the Eheim surface skimmers there. And then we've DIY'd a little gauze there that you can see right in the center. And that just helps to prevent the shrimp from getting sucked in, which is uh, quite a big issue with these filters. So really simple plants. We've just got some ferns, some mosses, some rheophytes there. So we've got uh, some Bucophilandra and some Anubias. So yeah, really simple, really easy, and uh, home to our shrimp that we sell. Okay, moving over to the left here, we have the TMC Signature 600. So this is a relatively shallow aquarium. It only measures 30 centimeters tall. It's 45 centimetres front to back, 60 centimetres long. Uh, Dave Yona, Dave Pierce, pretty talented aquascaper. He scaped this probably about, I want to say about six months, Dave? Probably more than six months, eight months. It's gone through a bit of an evolution, but it's all kept to its triangular composition. It's a real kind of heavy plant mass now loads of intricate textures going on. We've just kind of let the plants go a bit wild and trim them uh, only when absolutely necessary. And Dave has recently just replaced the, the substrate there and we've used some Denalay um, Planter Hunter gravel, which is, I think this is the Rio Zingu. Rio Zingu. So this is a beautiful textured gravel there, really naturalistic kind of colors. And just got the drop checker there. Filtration is a Eheim external canister. We've got, an, we've got a surface skimmer in there as well, a CO2 injection. And all of the, all of the aquascapes here in the shop have, uh, are, are fertilized with the aquascaper complete liquid plant food. So uh, we dose that every day, apart from weekends. The shop is, is generally closed on the weekends. So it does, it does a couple of days without any dosing. Okay, moving over to this scape. This is quite exciting. This was scaped by my really good friend from Germany, Yuri's. You may have heard of him, Yuri's Mitt JS. Um, he's got a YouTube channel, but he's only uploaded three videos so far. But do do subscribe to him, and he will be uploading more content soon. Uh, Yuri's is a very talented scaper, as you can see. He's also the um, social media manager for Tropica, so he does a lot of work with Tropica. And I've just got back from a, um, a visit to, to their to their uh, nursery in Denmark, where we scaped um, seven tanks for Interzoo. So uh, check that out. That's my last video. If you go onto my most recent upload, you'll see a little vlog style video about that visit, which is really cool. 
Uh, someone's just asked about the uh, cabinet finishes. Yes, these are Evolution Aqua Cabinet, 16 different finishes. So something pretty much guaranteed to suit all tastes and in interior designs. My personal favourites are the matte finish. So this is what I have at home in my living room. And I also have the gloss white down there. So that's my 600 and this is my 1200. So going back to the skate from Yuri's classic kind of diorama style Iraguni. This is inspired by uh, Dave Chow, who's a very, very talented aquascaper from Hong Kong. He owns a shop called Aqua Arts, and he's very much uh, one of the top scapers in the world, I would say. Okay, so moving over to the sort of star of the show. Uh, this is the Aquascaper 1500 by Evolution Aqua. Um, I've done a few videos on this already. Do check out my previous uploads and you'll see much more about this scape. It is my favourite as well, wet sleeves, thanks for joining. And this is non-CO2, believe it or not, no CO2 injection on this tank. So we're relying just on the good quality light, but not a lot of light. So I would just say sort of low to moderate lighting. Um, and we've just got a really nice mixture of kind of fairly easy plants in there. The only relatively demanding plant that we would we work a little bit worried about is the Limnophila aromatica in the background here. But as you can see, it's growing in really well. And because it's quite near the surface, we're getting that red pigmentation. And, that, and the same can be applied to the Hygrophila pinnata feeder there, um, which is a rio, we've used it as a rheophyte plant, so we've attached it to the wood and it's growing in really well. We did go through a bit of a staghorn algae phase on the, on the trident fern there, but as you can see, there's no nuisance algae in here whatsoever. We do have a shoal of uh, Siamese flying foxes. We also have a, probably about between 50 and 100 Amano shrimp and there'll be hun literally hundreds of cherry shrimp in here now, they're all breeding. And that, that just helps to keep these background levels, levels of algae down. So we dose about 20 mil of Aquascaper Complete liquid plant food in here every day. And we do at least two 50% water changes a week on here. And that's more to do with keeping the tannins down. At the moment, you, if you look through the cross section, you can see it's slightly tannin stained. And that's because of this bogwood. We're using huge pieces of bogwood here and they're leaching tannins, but that's no problem. We just uh, do the water changes. That also helps to prevent the algae. Just keeps these background levels of waste organics down, which we know tend to cause algae. Uh, lighting, we're using the Evolution Aqua lighting hanging kit here uh, with the beautiful Twin Star 600 SP. There's two, two on here, and that provides just the right amount, just the right amount of light for this five foot aquarium. Filtration, we're using two Oise Biomaster 600. Uh, we've built in heaters and a quick release uh, pre-filters, which are really good. Uh, the 1500 with cabinet is, let me just have a look at the price list. I've got one right here. So uh, with cabinet is 1399, so 1400 quid for the tanking cabinet. Um, so yeah, this is just, this is a really, really good skate. Probably gonna en enter this into the IOPLC under my name. Um, Dave will probably, um, Dave's got a bit of a choice actually now. I reckon he'll probably enter this, the 900, really cool. Okay, we've got the Denelay Scapers tank here, classic Iwagumi, Dave set this up a few months ago. Beautiful carpet there, Hemianthus, Clichicoides, Cuba, and the Echinodorus tenalis or Helanthium tenalum, whichever supplier we're using. But this is really good. Beautiful tight carpet there. Two Aquiel sunny LEDs on there, so 12 watts of LED light. And filtration again is just the Heim surface skimmer. Okay, moving on to the Classic minimalist Iwagumi. Jeff Sensuke set this up as part of a workshop. Um, I think it was November last year. Beautiful triangular layout. Eliocaris vivipara there is just going absolutely crazy, going out the top of the top of the surface. Uh, Justin, oh George, I keep seeing seeds for sale for carpeting plants. No, do not buy them. They're an absolute rip off. 
they're not even aquatic plants they'll grow a dry start and they might even grow they might even sprout underwater but they're definitely not a carpeting plant so you avoid them at all costs twins this is so this is an aquascaper 600 iwagumi this is a aquascaper 900 classic nature aquarium layout this was done by dave again beautiful layout really love this how this is looking at the moment uh, moving on to the Aquascaper 600, which is coming up for probably about 18 months old now. Really love this tank. It's a real kind of favourite of mine. Uh, so yeah, just give you a quick kind of pan of the shop. So as you come through the... So you walk into the... Let's go outside, let's show you exactly what we're doing. So here's the car park out here. We're just like in an industrial estate, so it's a fairly small unit. Come through. Hello, Aquarium Gardens. Come through the entrance. Look to the right, boosh, look at that. And that's what you see pretty much as soon as you walk in. Well, this is the first cape you see. This is a clear sill, uh, edge line 600. This has been going on for, is this yes. two years old now, Dave? That's two, yeah, almost. This cape's about two years old. The shop is in Huntingdon, Cambridgeshire, just off the A14, uh, really easy to get to. Uh, uh, the nearest train station, if you don't have a car, is Huntingdon. It's about uh, five pounds uh, in a taxi to get here. Um, there's also a bus service, a very good bus service here. So, Radion lighting there, boo. And then we've got, this is such a cool shot. We've got this new Aquascaper glassware here with the surface skimmer. Really cool. Those are dry goods. Seachem, we've got Denalay, Eheim, all good quality products. And the really cool thing about this shop is we only stock products that we believe in, uh, products that we'd use ourselves. We're hobbyists ourselves, we're passionate aquascapers, and we only sell products that we would actually use ourselves. So there's no, you know, there's no kind of rubbish here. Running a bit low on some of the hardscape materials, but there's still plenty to choose from. Manzanita wood, loads of different rocks. We've actually run out of Aquascaper Complete Liquid Plant Food because it's so popular. This is the yeah. submerged plant section. Yes. Yeah. And then what I'll do, I'll... how's the plant section looking? Is it quite tidy? Yeah, it's Cool. So this is where we keep all of our hydroponic systems looking. Nicely stocked. So, for those that don't know, these are grown hydroponically. So, about 95% of aquatic plants in nature grow out of water. They prefer to grow out of water because they have more access to light and CO2 in the air. There's no algae. And we grow them hydroponically here. Makes them more robust. Makes them easier to ship without being damaged. And just a really, really cool way to keep your plants long term. So, all these plants will actually be growing as you see them right now, nutrient rich water circulating around the roots. So, and we've got loads of tissue culture plants here. These are Tropica 1 2 Grow. Really, really great quality plants. The great thing about emergent plants is that when you, when you buy them immersed in their immersed state, they're more adaptable. Um, this is cool. This is a dry scaping area. This is Dave's best ever work here. Is it with me? I'm joking. So yeah, if you just want to have a little play, so customers can come in. If they're not sure of what hardscape they want, they can just play around in here. They've got a tape measure that they can so measure out their own size of aquarium, and to make sure that their hardscape fits perfectly. This is the submerged plant set up, as I said, mainly Vallis, Aponogetans, got some bunch plants. We call this the beginner section. Okay, I'm gonna sign off there, guys. Um, I'm actually, uh, do stay tuned in to my channel for, for later on. I might even publish it this evening. I'm gonna be scaping for one of our, one of our favorite customers, Stephen. We're gonna be scaping an Aquascaper 600. He lives with local. So I'm off there in a minute, actually. We're just going to choose some plants. We've already chosen some hardscape. It's going to be a really good day. I can't wait. 
and so stay tuned. If you've not already subscribed to me, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll automatically get notified every time I upload a new video. Keep on scaping.